Okay, I wanted to show you what uh, Nikon doesn't want you to see. Here you can see it's a uh, Nikkor 55 to 300, and this is a DX lens, but you notice here that it says AFS. Why, surely that stands for autofocus uh, silent wave motor, right? No, it has a micro motor in it, not a true ring ultrasonic motor in it. And I want to show you what fails, but first, I don't know if you can actually see it in this video. This is as close as I can get. I guess I should have filmed this with a macro lens instead of a GoPro. Here you can actually see the three gears that actually drive. Let me actually, I put black marks on the main drive gear so you could actually see it turning. Now if you look up here, you'll actually see where I placed a black mark on the central shaft that's inside the micro motor. You'll also see it turning. Now, this gear is on a really weak spring. And if I push it up, you could see the sort of deflection I could actually give it just with my finger. Now this lens died kind of early, but you can actually see from the teeth on this gear that there's already wear. Now, we'll say, well, that's a nylon gear. You know, that's some tough stuff. Uh, they have that in uh, like a $10,000, uh, you know, extreme hobbyist helicopters or nylon gears in there. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> well, that's some tough stuff. Now let me show you what's missing up here. Okay. Now, on top of the micro motor. See, the micro motor won't work right now because it's missing one thing. And it's not this. So I'm able to lift that here. What's missing is you'll see it right over here. This doesn't have to miss on top of the micro motor, which I'm going to place it back on top here. I'm trying to place it so you can see it. There we go. What happens for this lens to easily fail, even before these uh, cheap damn plastic teeth fail, is the cap to this, which is a C-clip. You see there's a slot right here? Guess what has to be missing for the autofocus to fail on a micro? Remember, this is an AFS marked Nikkor. The only thing that has to be missing is what's missing off the top of this one right now, which is this chintzy... There we go. This chintzy little C-clip goes right here. You see that little chintzy C-clip? All you have to do is, like, drop your uh, lens on the carpet and, uh... It doesn't take much. Whoops. See? And it's about three millimeters. Cause your lens, so I, can't, I keep dropping it because it's so small. Getting it on is uh, no easy task either. Actually, it's not that hard. But that's missing from right here. Once that pops off, then this pops off. Hold on a second. Like that. And then this lifts up, and now nothing works anymore. Because now it won't, once this lifts up, which I'm actually holding the lens vertically right now, but if I were just to actually be using the lens like a normal photographer would do in a horizontal, the lens won't drive now. You see? All because, now, you see? This is my AFS. Wow, that's a superior motor. That's a solid one. No, it's a micro motor. And the only thing it takes for it to fail is this. See, Nikon don't want you to know that sort of stuff. You see? You want another reason why there's a huge difference between an AFS Mark Nikon and another AFS Mark Nikon? Because when you see AFS on your Nikkor lens, that doesn't tell you a damn thing about what's inside of it. It's not a true ring ultrasonic inside of here. No, it's this chintzy piece of POS micro motor. And once the C clip falls off, oh yeah, it's not going to work anymore. Go, go figure. Interesting. What usually actually happens is that the C clip will roll its way back here, and it'll go down inside the lens, and it'll lodge itself inside the mechanism of the lens, and then it'll really lock it up. Because, yeah, having a C clip in the autofocus mech of your lens or your zoom ring. Causes it not to work. Yeah. This, my friends, listen closely. Listen, are you listening? This same little POS design is also in the $2,000 to $200 
105mm F14 Nikkor, which is also marked AFS. It's already been confirmed that there's a micromotor exactly like this in that super, super expensive lens. Yeah. Very, very easy to fail lens, too. Not only because of this. By the way, I forgot to show you this. This lens had three shims in the back. Yeah, it took three, lint, three of these to shim it. <laughs> Which is normal. But still. Yeah, what do you think now? Yeah? Bye.